our next guest is a talented actress you know from hit shows like Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. You can also catch her on the complete first season of Mr. Mayor, which is now streaming on Peacock. Check it out. Statistically, we should be married by age 29.5, and I'll need at least a year for my mom to lose the weight. What are you saying, Tommy? We are going to meet our spouses in this building. No, here? <gasps> the pool is too small. I don't want to be a stepmom to a possum. It's a sugar glider, idiot. How are we supposed to meet anyone here? <laughs> Please welcome Bella LaBelle! <laughs> Look beautiful. I wish I were as tall as you as well. Okay. No. It's nice to, no, I really do. I'm five three. Really it's don't. nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. That was hilarious. The clip. Is oh, this good. just such a fun cast to work with? It's so much fun. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I, I have to pinch myself all the time because I'm like, it oh, yeah. feels like TV royalty that I get to work and I, with. Yeah, and I feel like you just laugh on set probably all day long. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I'm always the first person to break too. I'm always oh. like, I keep it together. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I'm not good at that. Yeah, I, I had to do SNL one and I was like, how am I supposed to not laugh? Laugh right now. That's yeah, the like, point. Is they're is trying hilarious. to make you laugh. Yeah, yeah. I was this like, is funny. Hard. I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> yes. I, I heard something about you though that we, we have a similarity. My mom was single for for quite some time too, and a teacher. Yeah. And you grew up with a single. I know. Teacher. It yeah. made me feel so. I was like, oh, Kelly gets it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get being poor um, because teachers Definitely. make no money. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Paying teachers more. And Definitely. you watch your mom just kill it. My mom was yes. such a hard worker. Yeah. And like Instead doing a million simple. things at the same time. Multitasking. You also like never get away with anything. Because there's oh. no there's no one to be like, well, that parent said no, but what about that parent? Yeah. My mom was like, no. I said no. <laughs> so where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Santa Fe, New Mexico, it's mostly. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a pretty weird town, I have to say. Like, Is I, it? I love it. I visited. I have love it. Have you really? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I what had did to you do? There. I was there because a friend was shooting something, and um, yeah. and and I was there for that reason. Well, what's so crazy is when I was growing up, I was like, I have to get out of here. Which now I'm like, maybe that's more about teenagers than actually about where 100%. we grow up. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I was like, I have to get to the big city. But now like all of these film projects are filming in New Mexico and I'm like, this is so wild. Mm -hmm. Like my yeah. PE teacher is like works in the film industry now. I'm like, what? well, that's cool. Yeah. 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 It's happy. It's like, it's a big, it's a big thing there now. So it I'm is like, funny though how we want to escape where we're from, and then, and then all yes. of a sudden, like, all I crave is a small town. Yeah. Like, totally. I yeah. love a small town. I know. I love going back home, and like, it's, it has a totally like, kind of eclectic art scene, and yeah. like George R. R. Martin, who wrote Game of Thrones, yes. lives in Santa Fe, which kind of gives you an insight to like. And the shopping is awesome. You have such yes. cool stores, like antiques. Lots like of all turquoise. Those. Yeah, I love turquoise. Yeah, so, yeah. Yes. yeah totally. um, well, don't they have a crazy, like said, so the art scene, were you always into that, like when you were a kid? Yeah. Were you always artistic? Yeah, definitely. Like I definitely grew up and um, wanted to, like loved being in plays, and um, I played piano when I was young. I thought I was going to be like a concert pianist. Oh, you were good. Yeah, well, my mom, I think, when I was little, um, noticed I had, like, a lot of nervous energy with my hands and was like, uh, my grandparents have a piano, so we're just going to put her in piano lessons. Yeah. So I thought I was going to be, like, a classical pianist until I was, like, um, until I went to college. And then I kind of discovered acting and realized, all right, life choices. Life yeah. choices. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like you, your mind kind of, um, like, you kind of have weird goggles in New York where you're like, I'm sharing a one-bedroom with eight people, but it's amazing. <laughs> like, you're just like, this is such a great deal. And I, like... <laughs> I shower in the sink, but it's so So great. fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, congrats on season two of Mr. Mayor. This is awesome. Thank so you so much. For everybody that hasn't seen it, can you say who you play? Yes, so I play um, Michaela, and I am uh, Ted Danson's chief of staff, so dream role. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, Ted Danson plays the mayor of L.A., who, like, unexpectedly won to impress his teenage daughter. And I play, I was his campaign manager during the campaign, and then all of a sudden he makes me his chief of staff. So, like, Michaela is completely out of her depth. She's, like, never worked in public office before, and she's running the whole administration. So it's a really fun... Terrifying. Yeah, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Like a... she, it's, it's a fun character to play, though, because I feel like she's just posing, and she's like, I know what I'm doing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I am going to blow...
my way through. Yes, this. I'm gonna fake yes. it until somebody <laughs> notices. Yeah. Yeah. Just that's all we do. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, yes. that's what life is, right? <laughs> um, well, everybody, the complete first season of Mr. Mayor is now available to stream on Peacock. You gotta check it out. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.